get us! Batman! Can you hear me? Try and get us! Four thugs, all armed, die. two hostages. This is gonna be easy. Man, What's up guys and welcome back to Arkham City. Uh, not really a walkthrough, just some gameplay. We're going to be taking out the Joker's henchmen and rescuing hostages, so let's go. You see him? Where is he? I don't know where he is. I can't see him. He could come from anywhere. Stay calm. Back. Can you hear me? Get out of here. Leave now, or the bitch has a hole where her head used to be. You're safe. Stay quiet. So these are instances where the detective mode comes in really handy. You can see through the walls, see where your enemies are. Um, the ones that are in blue are obviously deceased, and then the ones that are in like the yellowy orange are still alive. And it's easier for you to take them out. He's safe in the confessional. He's just made it easier for me to get in behind him. And also the little gargoyles that Batman's sitting on. Um, they'll be the orange color too, where you can use your grappling hook. Oops, where you can use the grappling hook to. Um, swing back and forth from different places, they'll be in the orange color as well. You'll be okay. Wait here and don't make a noise. Yeah, I said the blue guys were deceased. I can glide to the scaffolding um, above him without being seen hang on. <laughs> and take him down from there. Yeah, the blue guys, um, it also shows them when they're deceased as blue, but um, if they're hostages, um, good guys that you're not supposed to kill, then they're in blue as well. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Is secure. You're safe now. All right, so Batman is taking care of business yet again, and we've rescued all these EMTs. And now we have to find the uh, bell tower where um, we took the bullet trajectory and found out that's where Joker was shooting from. So now we're gonna go look for that. Okay, yeah. When you um, get these little upgrades, you go to the Wayne Manor thing, Wayne Tech thing here, and um, the more points you get and the <clears throat> higher up you go in the levels, whatnot, as you go throughout the game, you're going to be able to upgrade Batman's armor, weapons, um, his uh, drop attack, his movement, um, all different things like that. So just keep an eye out when it says to upgrade your weapons, you push select, and you get to pick from a couple different things to uh, make Batman more powerful. And then it shows also your regular movement that you're going to be doing in case you forget how to do something like use the grappling hook or something like that. It will show you. There's also the maps. Um, when you first start out, when you first select, it shows the map of where you are and where your um, next target is or what your next mission is. It'll show it like in green. So if you kind of lose your way, which I do all the time, I have to check the map quite frequently to figure out where I'm going. Very I want this place locked down tight. All medical staff check supplies. Find out if anything was taken. The gunshot came from the bell tower. I need to find a way up there. I you just noticed, but Batman just saved our asses. Anyone can find her, he'll do. Okay, does everyone understand? Look after the wound and the bad guys out. Team, let's keep it that way. Okay, here we go. We found the gun and there's some TVs in here, so let's check out what's gonna happen. There's the gun. It looks like it's being controlled remotely by Joker. Well, 
look who it is. I haven't seen you for... How long has it been? Let's see. There was an asylum, some monsters, and... Oh, that's right. You left me to die. Now, you probably don't remember it that way, but who cares? You just need to worry about the bombs. Hurry up now. Clock's ticking. <laughs> I love him. Yes, you have to uh, quickly jump out the window here or you're going to explode. And Joker's going to blow up the top of the church there. Whee! We made it, of course. Batman always made it. Alfred, I've got a lock on the signal used to remotely control the sniper rifle. Joker's behind this. Was there ever any doubt? The radio signal should lead me right to him. Good luck, sir. Okay, so now I have to follow the arrows, uh, the little green arrow there. The red arrow shows me I'm going the wrong way, green arrow right way, and I have to follow the radio signal to the Joker's uh, hideout. So hopefully I can do that. I suck at doing this part. Uh, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, because I'm obsessed with voice actors, I'm pretty sure that Troy Baker does some of the thug voices. I'm not sure. Does anybody else know? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty good at picking out voices, so it sounds well like him. Sure about this? No. But what choice do we have? There's got to be something else we can do. What? You screwed it up with penguins, guys. I think they'll kill us if we go back there. And you saw what happened when Batman went in the court. Maybe Two Face is still okay, you know? After Batman went in there. Batman come out? Yeah. Okay, so far so good. That looks like it to me. <laughs> so, oh, let's take these guys out and see how close we can get to getting in. Definitely going the right way. There's lots of thugs around, so we gotta take these guys out. It's the freak. Like so. Oh yeah, go Batman, go. Alright, last guy. Let's uh, keep going here. 
This is where I get lost a lot, because... Oh, I can level up. So there you go. See, when you see that, you press select, and you can uh, go back to your Wayne Tech option over here, and you can upgrade his armor. I think I'm going to do his armor. And yep, we'll do that, and we're upgraded. So now we can take more damage from uh, firearms, which we haven't come across yet. Okay, I suck at following this radio frequency because we're going one way and then I'll take a little tiny turn and then I'm totally off track and yeah, so I don't know where I'm going. Uh, see, it says green, but it's the complete wrong way. I don't know. I'm lost. Okay, so there's more guys down here, so I'm assuming this is the right way. <laughs> we'll see. What's the bat doing here? If you notice that little red Riddler trophy underneath the fencing here, um, there's green ones all throughout Arkham City, and there's red ones. The red ones are for Catwoman only, and the green ones are for Batman to complete your Riddler challenges, so don't even try to pick up the red ones unless you're using Catwoman. Okay, you see the sign that says Sionis Industries on this building here? Um, a little bit of a backstory, this whole factory was owned by the family of the Black Mask, who we saw at the very beginning, and he is going to be the main villain in the Arkham Origins game. Um, I don't know if it's much of a spoiler alert, but uh, Joker has taken over this entire factory, which does technically belong to the Black Mask, so he's a little bit perturbed about that, um, as I've been reading in the comic books, so I don't know if that has anything to do with what might happen in Arkham Origins, but I'm speculating that there's going to be some kind of uh, disagreement between the Joker and Black Mask over this factory, so it's going to be interesting to see how that pans out. Okay, so I'm lost again. I know it's around here somewhere that I'm supposed to go, but I can't find it, so... I apologize for me running around, but at least you get to look at some of the graphics in the game. The graphics are pretty sweet, so... At least it's not all for nothing. Ugh, I'm looking for a little spot on the rooftop, and once I get there, then Alfred starts talking to me again, and then I can go into the steel mill, but now I'm just, ugh, it's so frustrating. It's like, it's right here somewhere, I don't know if it's above me or below me, but yeah. This sucks. Plus, see, one little turn and it changes. No, I'm falling right down. Oh, boy. 
Okay guys, I guess I'm going to leave you with the rest of my uh, modeled gameplay here and hopefully I will find it by the next time I come back. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video and I hope to talk to you soon.